yesterday I said I was going to go through some of the analytics on my site and everything. Day got away from me, but at the end of the day, I did get to it. So I have a separate site that's standalone that has my comics up to a point. Like every comic that I've done since the beginning up to a point. Uh, and then it stops. And I've been noticing that a lot of people actually go all the way through. Computer, stop. Sorry, that's my Alexa over there timing my coffee. It's been about a year almost since I've updated that. So I have an ad out there that is looking for people that want to read web comics. So now what I'm doing is I added one more post at the end going to continue reading, click this link to go to my website, which now will take them to my current TomRaysWebsite.com site and start them from the comic where it continues from there. So I was able to have a separate site, put ads on it, so when people go through, I get more ads for more traffic that I send to it. And it was when I first started testing out ads. I didn't know if I wanted to put them on my regular site. I want to improve it because I spend a dollar a day on ads, and that site generates, on average, maybe 75 cents in ads. So I'm losing a quarter a day, but... It's still an interesting experiment, but I haven't touched it in such a long time. But now I have the traffic results from that. I can look at the demographics, the place they're coming from, and then try and uh, figure out how to use that information to get people of similar interests to my website. So it's a way to experiment without really using my site. Yes using a made-up site or actually just a standalone site that only has my comics on it. Hopefully that makes sense, but now I'm sending them, I, I realize if they do like it, send them to my new website and then they'll start coming across when I was doing my podcast and maybe they'll be interested in that, subscribe to the podcast. That's the theory, but that was only step one. I need to figure out more about the people that actually read all the comics all the way through, look at where they are and then try and find people of similar interests on Facebook, Instagram, and that's my strategy for that. I think my coffee's almost done. I need to shave. Before I start putting more stuff online today, I gotta find a few items that I sold. One of them, there are a few odd items. One of them was a, here it is, this vintage wooden dog toy. It's a pull toy. And then the other thing was an item that I thought would have gone a lot sooner. I talked about it in one of my pop culture videos a while back, which is the Janet Lennon at Camp Calamity book. So if you go back to one of my pop culture roadshow videos, I talk about this and the weird history behind the Lennon sisters and how there was, there's a whole story about how they had a stalker and the stalker actually killed their father like in real life not in the story like the Lennon sisters themselves were a singing group and weird career and this was one of the promotional things they did that was supposed to be like Nancy Drew So one of the things I've been doing is, uh, since I'm stuck inside, I like to look in my old comics. And on Instagram, last week I posted one of those old comic book ads, and I decided to try another one today too, because people seem to like them, and they respond to them because they're like, I remember that. So this one's one of those Twinkies ones where Twinkies makes everybody friends.
I was just about to comment how pathetic it is that right now the most exciting thing in our day is something that you kind of want to make other people do for you which is go to the post office <laughs> and then as we were leaving an intersection my hubcap fell off and it looks like a oh jeez we're going back to get it and it looks like somebody's going to drive over it no nope. oh no they missed it good Let's pull right here. so i'm gonna pull over and get my hubcap because we heard a noise and i'm like did i run over something <laughs> Now I want to see. Does that mean someone was messing with my tire? Okay, kick the bottom. Here. Weird. Oh, and I dropped my gloves. This is one of those things where it's like, should we be going outside? <laughs> I'm not sure if we should. Just doing another visit to the train car and see what the progress is. We know it's not going to be much, but they're still doing stuff. So, there's our train, our old logo on it, that we can't get into because of that thing way over there. The pole that it's teetering on over the hole. And when we were talking to the landlord, he said he still thinks we're going to move forward, but I was just telling Mary Joy that we're already attached to the other car, and that one can't move forward anymore, so I think that he just doesn't know. Well, looks like they're doing some work over there. So Why there are people out here working on it, because there's nowhere for it to move to. That's what I'm saying. There's no tracks up here. They're at the end. So you think it's going to go that way? Yeah. Oh, I was thinking you were saying it was going to go this way. Because no. that's, that's the end of the track right there. Oh yeah, you're right. That is backward. Didn't occur to me. Alright, so forward would be that way because that's where the engine car is. Meh. Either way, it's been almost over a year since we've done this. Or gotten in here. We got in here... We got the keys. Oh my God, we actually got the keys on April, or the first day we were in there was today, a year ago, I think. Really? I think so. I want to say it was April 1st that we got them. I know we got the keys, and then the day that we actually went in there was... I'll have to check the lease when I get home. Yeah, we'll have to look, but regardless, it was around a year ago that we were able to get in there. Yeah, things are different. Mm-hmm. I'm actually going to be having a video chat with my band since we can't be in the same room together and I'm trying out the, well, we're going to be using Google Hangouts. We actually have a G Suite account for the band, but we're going to be trying out. I uploaded a our doer session to GitHub and we're going to share it and work on different parts together because it's just the beginning of a song idea that I wanted to work on. And we're going to see what it's like if everybody records different parts for stuff that I wrote or rewrites their parts or whatever. So let's see how that goes.